to add values to your employment type, you will simply go into your toolbox, click into employment type. Now what you see here are the pre-selected or pre-loaded values from our template. So here's your list here. You can simply just take each one of these and we can keep them all in the order that you want, including this M being out of order. I'll show you how to do that here. So we'll take that value and you can either delete the existing or you can just edit the existing and add values. So if I click onto the edit icon here for full time, I can paste the value that I pulled from your spreadsheet part time 15 to 19. And then code, it's arbitrary. I can just basically put the same thing in. That's fine. I don't need to add in any specifics related to the title or it has no bearing or effect on anything else in the system. It's merely part of the ATS database. So don't worry about what you put in for code. Now layout order, you're going to start with 10. And then we're going to change the CB network to reflect somewhere that this is a part-time position. So we can grab um, part-time employee right here. Select OK. That adds the value. So you can see it's at the bottom now because of the layout orders being 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. So that's fine. You can just change each one of these. So the second one I'll add for you here is part-time 20 hours. So I can click into this part-time right here. And I'll hit the edit icon underneath title. I'll put part time 2029 and then layout order. I'll go 20 on this one. So we're going to do an increments of tens and we don't have to change anything on the CB network. Now you're going to see at the very bottom here. We have 15 to 19, 20 to 29, and that's because the layout order is 10 and 20. So you can go ahead and take these last. What do we have here? four you can edit those four and add like these next four it's important for you um, all to start understanding how to use your toolbox and how to maintain the system so i think uh, it's best for you to go ahead and load these and let me know if you have any questions thank you